Hey guys, it's Spider Star. You welcome back to my Pokemon Stadium one playthrough. Oh yes! In the previous episode, we versed the Fuchsia City Gym um, le leader um, Koga. Yes, the Poison type Master Ninja, all that stuff. Well, now we're gonna be moving on to Sabrina. Yes, Sabrina, the Master of Psychic type Pokemon. Her name is kind of re like really ironic because um, who 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 watched Sabrina the Teenage Witch as a kid? Yeah, Sabrina, I think that's what Sabrina's name is based off of, you know, because of the magic and all. But anyway, yeah, Sabrina is a psychic type um, gym leader, so she's going to have some really strong psychic Pokemon. And this is Generation 1, so this is not going to be easy for us, but we're going to try our best. So, of course, you guys already know the drill. I don't need to explain it. You know, three trainers, we have to beat them first, then we get to verse Sabrina. Alright, so I already have a pre-selected team, of course, as, you, as per usual. We have Kadabra, Starmie, Jinx... Victory Bell, Raichu, and Dragonite. Um, so what was going through in my, my mind when I was picking this team? Um, of course we need the psychic types to deal with um, Sabrina because only thing the only thing that can combat psychic is psychic. So you need to have a psychic type to basically just not take a crap ton of damage with. And then of course we have variety here. We have Victory Bell, Raichu, and Dragonite for variety. So yeah, that's that, that's what was going through in my mind. So yeah, let's get started. And of course, Jinx and Starmie both have ice and water as, you know, side types, so, you know. Alright, so our first challenger is Q-Ball, and Q-Ball, you know, he has a pretty... Alright, I see, like, three fighting types, one rock type, one water ice type, and one dragon type. Alright, so what we're gonna do... Jinx can already take care of, like, five of, the, five of them. Then we're gonna have Raichu for the Dugong, and, um... Starmie, Dugong. I, I said Dug. <laughs> oh my gosh. Anyway, for this um gym, um I believe it's decorated with um a mirrored floor. Oh, of course. So you of course you bring in Dugong first. But yeah, like you see the floor. It's like you see like the mirror. It we're like basically like on, on top of like a mirror or like a barrier or something like that. So, obviously, he starts off with his dugong, this some um, cute ball dude, and of course, not not good for Jinx. Jinx can't do too much, so we're going to switch out to Raichu. The only reason I bring Raichu in was to deal with dugong. Alright, Raichu. It withdrew its head. Alright, so it's, gonna, it's about to use Skull Bash. I didn't bring any go- uh, what's it called? Um, I didn't bring any ghost types with me, so I can't avoid it. So we're just gonna go for Thunder, deal some massive damage. Come on, let's go! Oh, but it missed! I. Oh, actually, no, not no I. I actually didn't do too much. I thought I was gonna do a bunch of damage. That's why I was like, oh no. Well, we're just gonna keep going for Thunder because that's all we can do. There we go! Oh, you live. Oh, you son of a truck. We're, th we're throwing your head in one more time. Alright, so let's use Mega Kick. I think Mega Kick is better accuracy than Thunder, so... Come on, can you work, Mega Kick? Mega Kick! And it missed. Okay, now this is ridiculous now. Ugh. I feel your pain, Raichu. It pisses me off as well. Alright, we're gonna do Mega Kick one more time. If it doesn't work, then we're dead. Cause I think he's. I don't think he's gonna be stupid and go for. Um, oh, okay. Never mind. Oh, uh, never mind. Ugh, this annoying dugong. Gosh, goodness. All right, who's gonna be the next Pokemon to come out? Oh, it's Machop. Look at this a little annoying little wannabe. Uh, we're gonna go for. We're gonna go for Thunder. We're just gonna keep Raichu in because it doesn't matter if he dies. He dies or faints. Whatever. Same thing. <laughs> earthquake. Oh! Earthquake! <laughs> it actually surprises me. I didn't expect my chop to know Earthquake. Well, good job, um, Raichu. Alright, now we're gonna send in Jinx. Oh, yes. Jinx. Jinx will take care of you, my little Machop. I like I like Jinx's cry. It's like dun, 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 dun. I li it's like what all the Seki types have. Well, most of them. All right, bam! Taking out this Machop in one shot. 
Oh, you couldn't handle it, little boy. You get the hell out of here. All right, who's gonna be the last one? Manky. Oh, that'll be a cinch. No problem. Well, have that. Ah, dang. Okay. So I think I should talk a little bit about um, the gym, um, Sabrina's gym, and like how, 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 what did I thought of her as a kid? Because you know, her being a psychic type gym leader, you know, actually I was not too favorable of her. Like I think Sabrina's cool, all cool now. But as a kid, I did not like her because she, her gym pissed me off. The psychic type, the psychic types that were run, running rampant, like they they just kept taking down my Pokemon. So I wasn't too happy about all that stuff back then. Bring in Dragonite as well because he can, you know, surf. So I, it pissed me off. But what, what happened was um, later on, because I so I had a Venusaur. I think was it Venusaur or Ivysaur? One one of the two. It's the same thing. But like, so like, I couldn't deal with Sabrina, but then, um, I, I caught my, I, I started training up my Jinx! Yes! Actually training up my Jinx, and then, uh, um, I was able to beat her because, um, I was, I just kept, um, <gasps> Horn Drill! That won't work! Oh, yeah, I was about to say, I was like, wait, that, that, that can't work, I'm faster. But yeah, I just kept training up my Jinx. My st I trained up my Staryu as well. Yes, I kept that as a Staryu. I didn't evolve it yet. But I just I just kept trying, and then I beat Sabrina eventually because I got lucky. And of course, as I got older and I replayed Red and Blue and stuff, you know, it was easy. But I'm talking about when I was like four, five, probably most likely five or six, actually. Yeah, not four. No, wait, was it four? I I played Pokemon when I was a little kid. I I, I probably when I was four, but I I was like really like oblivious to all this stuff. I just thought if the move looked strong, then it was probably strong. So I didn't know about type matchups and stuff, so I just thought, oh hey, if the move looks strong, then it's probably strong. Okay, that looked strong, so I'll, I'll believe that's strong. You see, that that's just what I thought. But I, of course, as I got older, I had strategies and stuff, and then the rest is history. I became a Pokemon master. Bada bing, bada boom. Yeah, you guys know, you guys already know. I am Spider Stargu after all. The master of spiders and star use, of course. Oh yes, um, I've been. I'm just sweeping through this burglar team. I'm not even paying attention to it because it's it's honestly just ridiculous how simple it is. Really, just just keep doing bubble beam with Starmie, and they'll just go down one by one. Cause this burglar's a complete fire type dude. One thing I don't understand was why is burglar in this gym and not in um, what's it called? He's in, okay, oh my god. He's in this gym, but he's not in, um, the Blaine's gym. You know, the fire type gym leader, Blaine? Like, I don't understand, why isn't, why isn't that burglar dude at that guy's gym? Because isn't he a fire type user? Hey, <laughs> you missed! Ah, minimized work! You suck. Alright, now it's time to take Growlithe out. Come on, Starmie, Bubble Beam. There we go. Ah, devastating. All right, Growlithe's down. But yeah, that's what I'm. That's what I went through as a kid. Hopefully, it doesn't seem too ridiculous. Wasn't everyone? But the, wasn't everyone like, what do I do? What do I do as a kid? Like, they, they didn't understand what to do. Of course, because it was just uh, I. I played the originals on the Game Boy, and I, I asked for help a lot. But I did event. I did get through. I do. I did beat the game as a little kid. Of course, with, a, with help from a family and stuff, but I did be, I did do it, so no tea, no shade on that. All right, now reversing medium. She or he or whoever the hell has three ghost types, which are both all poison, and also actually no, she has like basically five poison types. So bring in Kadabra, bring in Jinx, and then bring in Starmie. There we go. Let's get started. But yeah, um. When we verse Sabrina, I hope it's not going to be too difficult. I mean, I hope there is some challenge so you guys see, like, oh, it's not completely easy. But, you know, I just hope that, you know, it's just a great battle. Because I don't want it to be too difficult, but I don't want it to be too, too easy. Because, you know, I don't like too easy. 
I know this is R1, but still, you know, there's a thing where it cannot be, like, just completely dense. Alright, that actually did a lot of damage to this, um, Tentacruel. It's gonna retaliate with Hydro Pump. Ah, that's gonna do massive damage. Because, um, Tentacruel has massive special as well. I have massive special, but he has massive special as well, so... That's why that did a lot of damage. And the side beam should take him down. Yes, I knew it would take it down from that HP. What will the next Pokemon be? Ah, it's Golbat. Ooh, that tongue is nasty. Yeah, we gotta get rid of you just for that nonsense you just did right there. <laughs> really, it's oh, that was disgusting. Get out, side beam. Ooh! Damn, you lived! What? Oh, don't tell me this swoop is gonna knock me out. Ah, oh, you just had to get a crit! Oh, you lucky bastard! Why, why did you get a crit? Like, I don't even understand that. Really, you're just too lucky. Though, to be honest, though, Swift always crits, I notice. I don't know why. Every time I use Swift, it, it crits most of the time. I don't know if it's just a thing or something, but that that, that happens all the time. Anyway, I'm gonna ice punch you, get get you, getting you the hell out of here. So you're dead, you're gone. Goodbye with that long freaking tongue. I wanna I wanna chop off. Actually, ooh, no, ooh, no. On um, the last one is Ghastly. Ghastly is gonna be a cinch. All right, just psychic and it's gone. I don't even think Ghastly can take one psychic, not from Jinx. If it does, I'll be shocked. Okay, well it crit, so I guess it's I, I can't even I won't know for sure now. Oh, Ghastly. Ghastly was another was one of my favorite um, Pokemon as a kid as well. I had a lot of favorite Pokemon, but I like Ghastly because it was like just circular. That's the only reason. No special reason at all. I just liked it because it was circular. Though I didn't like it in the red and blue games. I liked it in like the anime and um, the Pokemon Stadium. I didn't like it in the red and blue games because it, it, it didn't even look like anything. It just looked like nothing in, in the games. Sprites back then were ugly. Goodness. You guys are lucky. You, you get 3D models and stuff now. But back then we had to freaking deal with nonsense. Alright, so this is what I'm going to do. We're going to start with Kadabra. Then we're going to send out Jinx. And I think we should have Dragonite. Yeah, Dragonite will... Dragonite will take hits by Psychic, but then he can use Slam. And most of those, um, most of the Pokemon below have really, really, really bad, um, de defense. So, Starmie, thank you, but we're going to have to, we're going to take Dragonite instead. All right, so let's get started. Versing Sabrina of the um, Saffron City Gym. Sabrina the Teenage Witch. Oh, Sabrina. I think I mentioned at the beginning of the video. I don't even remember. But yeah, Sabrina. She's oh, she's the Teenage Witch. I swear. I swear that's what the name is based off of. Who else is like? Who else has magical powers and stuff like that? Oh, dig. What? I want to use Thunder Wave on you. I want to get some Paralysis Hacks. Well, I guess I see that's not going to happen. I'm not going to take damage from this. So it's a good thing I bring... It's a great thing I bring Dragonite. Dragonite will take no damage from your measly little dig. Hey, I'm only being cautious because here... That Alakazam... My Kadabra has horrible defense. Alakazam has horrible attack, but... It'll match up, so we don't do that. I'm gonna go for slam right here. Toxic, oh you little jerk, pissing me off. Oh, all right. I want to just use slam. All right, I want you to do massive damage. Come on, massive damage. Oh, that was all right. That was uh, that was good damage. All right, I'll take that. Ah, side beam. No. Come on, Dragonite. Come on, please don't miss. Don't miss. Don't miss. 
Don't miss! There we go. All right. We take out we take out the biggest threat, Alakazam. All right, now we'll switch out. We'll, we'll most likely switch out because I don't want Toxic to get too crazy. Oh my god, guys! You probably you guys are probably excited because this is like one of the first battles where I'm actually like literally paying attention <laughs> the whole time. All right, yes. Yeah, oh, oh, I can switch out to Jinx. Jinx. Okay, well I guess we'll switch out that Kadabra. Doesn't really matter. Leech Seed! Miss. Ah ha! Yeah, I made an attack. Alright, what we're gonna do... Oh god, Side Beam will do Jack, so we're just gonna use Seismic Toss. If that does nothing and then we get Leech Seeded, then we're gonna switch. Because I will not tolerate the Leech Seed crap. Oh, even worse, Toxic! It had no effect! Damn, Sabrina must be getting pissed. All our attacks are failing, but we'll switch out to Jinx now, okay? Let's not let's not be ridiculous. Let's not be ridiculous here. We need Kadabra just in case, so Jinx, she'll do her job and take out this executor. Using Ice Punch! Ah, the Toxic had no effect! Alright, let's use Ice Punch. Come on, Jinx. Smack this grass. Let's kick the grass. Oh, it's frozen rock solid! Yes! Oh, with the freaking cold air outside right now, there's like freaking like, it's like really, really cold outside, so Executor getting frozen is exactly what, uh, oh yes, Executor, you get you got frozen, okay? Executor, I think, I think you just took some of the real world atmosphere and that's why you got frozen. If you didn't go outside, you wouldn't have gotten frozen, but hey. Because I, it's just so ironic that Frozen happened. I don't know why. Guys, I don't know why we keep getting the Frozen hacks. So don't ask me, like, why do you keep getting why do you keep getting lucky with Frozen? I don't know. I really don't know why we keep getting lucky. Alright, that, that joke aside about the thing. About um, outside being cold. Even though it really is cold outside. But, like, it's weird how much we're getting the Frozen hacks. We're getting too lucky. Are we going to freeze them again? Okay, no, we're not. Alright, we'll just use Thrash. Sabrina, Sabrina, you were too easy. Come on, Sabrina. I expected more from you, being psychic type and all. Come on, Sabrina. Get it together. That does nothing. Alright, we're gonna use Thrash now. That should do more damage. Oh, damn. That actually did not do a lot of damage. Well, we're trapped into this move regardless. Kadabra will definitely not take me out. Nah, Seismic Toss. Seismic Toss will not take me out. I knew it. It won't take me out. Alright, Jinx, finish us off. Thrash him about. Dang. Alright. Goodbye, Kadabra. Alright, we beat Sabrina. We earned ourselves the Marsh Badge. It's the Marsh Badge, right? I think. Yeah, it's the Marsh Badge. <laughs> Sabrina, sorry. It's time for you to go on your little broomstick and fly back to the Sabrina animated series. Anyway, yes, we beat the gym. We beat the Saffron City gym. Thank you guys so much for watching. I am so happy that we were able to get through Sabrina. Sabrina would definitely was was what the heck? What happened in my English right there? Sabrina definitely was going to be the toughest challenge I knew, and actually actually went pretty well. So yeah, I'm really happy about that. So yes, yeah, Sabrina, we beat her. The next time you see us, we're going to be versing the Cinnabar City Gym Leader, Blaine, who is a master of Fire-type. Fire-type Pokemon. So that's going to be really interesting to see. After Blaine, there's only one more Gym Leader left, and then we move on to the Elite Four. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to check my um, social links below. And um, yeah, I'll see you next time, alright? Thanks for watching. Goodbye.